you're getting the relationship with the horse, you're getting the balancing, and you're getting rhythmic activity all together. And that can sometimes have you know really good results. So why is it working best on the horse? Why why is the horse a conduit for the child? Well, to, uh, you have two learn? you have two brain reasons why. The child has to constantly balance. And there's something about making the child constantly balance that seems to stabilize some of the disordered sensory input. And it's rhythmic. So you have balancing and rhythm together. Because therapists have found that if you make a child balance on a ball or balance on the edge of a board uh, or, or a slow swinging in a swing, sometimes it's easier to get speech to come out. And it somehow stimulates the vestibular system. How exactly it works, nobody knows. But it does work in some cases. And then it's also much more fun and pleasurable to be on a horse than to be, you know, walking on the edge of a board or something. Plus you have a, a pleasant sensory yeah. and emotional connection. For Do you sure. think this is what's going on with my son with, when he's riding Betsy and, and his language is coming? That's probably it. Yeah, because I've over and over again, I've had talk to teachers, I've talked to therapists and said, well, okay, we get him on the horse and I got more speech coming out than they ever had. But OTs also have done things with balancing and with the swinging, where they're getting, they're getting some of that speech coming out too. In fact, I worked with Lorna King in Phoenix. We did a little paper 20 years ago on a, a nonverbal child swinging on a swings very slowly like this and having more speech sounds come out. I'd like to reframe the question I just asked okay. and, and it's, make it specific to Rowan. Um, so why is Rowan speaking and why is his language coming well when he's with Betsy, when he's riding Betsy? When he's riding Betsy. When he's riding Not just Betsy. with her, but riding Betsy. Well, of course, you have the relationship with the horse, and he really feels relaxed and comfortable with the horse. But there's also two other reasons, and they are when you're riding a horse, you have to constantly balance. And therapists have found that when you do balancing activities, like sitting on a ball, or maybe they have put a board on the floor, and you walk you know, um, like this on the board, you're, you have to keep balancing. And somehow that seems to stabilize a disordered sensory uh, input uh, in, the, in the nervous system. Another thing is it's rhythmic. And rhythmic activities, therapists have found that slow swinging, 10 or 12 times a minute, also seems to help stabilize speech. But on the horse, you get both of these. You're getting balancing and you're getting rhythm. And then the third thing you get is it's so much fun to be on a horse and, and uh, you get that. It's so much uh, nicer to be on a horse than you know sitting on a ball. So you've got you know uh, you know the relationship with the horse, but then you have the other two biological reasons where somehow this type of stimuli seems to stabilize uh, malfunctioning uh, circuits in the brain that process language and 